Hey guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about args and quarks in Python. These args and quarks will allow us to accept any arbitrary number of positional or key value arguments for our function. So we have args and then we have quarks. So this args will enable us to accept or to take the variable length arguments in our function. That means we can pass any number of arguments to the function using this args. And this quarks will allow us to take or to pass any number of key value pairs. So uh, we'll start with the example of args. So first let's create a function. So let's say def, let's say sum and here for the parameter, we are going to define this asterisk args. Now let's just print this args. Okay. Now if we call this sum function, now since this sum function has this asterisk args parameter, that means we can pass any number of arguments in this function. So in this sum function, we can pass as much arguments that we want. So let's say we pass this three arguments. So all of this one, two and three are going to be stored in this args variable. If we run this program, now in this function, we are just printing this args. So it just printed this one, two and three. And you can notice that these are inside this uh, small brackets, that means this args variable is a tuple so any value or any arguments that we pass they are going to be stored in this args tuple as the tuple items so this one two and three are taken as the tuple items one two three so here instead of printing this args we can just return the sum of uh, all the parameters or all the values that we pass in this sum function first let's define a variable called total and let's initialize it as zero and now we can use the for loop so for item in arcs and then we will add each item in total so total plus equals item and then we can print total so now uh, when we call this function sum with these three values it should print the total or the sum of all these values so let's run and it printed 6 so since it's taking the variable length arguments we can pass as many values as we want so let's say 4 and 5 and 6 so using this asterisk args we don't have to define 6 parameters in this function when we have to pass 6 values so we can just define this one argument that is asterisk args and this args will take care of all the arguments or all the values that we pass in this function so now we just added 4 5 and 6 so it still works now if we don't use this args keyword so now to pass this 6 values or 6 arguments in this sum function without using the args we have to define 6 parameters so a b c d e and f now a will take the value of 1 B will take the value of 2 and so on but instead of defining all these parameters we can just define one parameter that is asterisk args now we have this asterisk asterisk quarks so this variable this quarks is for the arbitrary number of key value pairs so here we are just passing value so 1 2 3 four five six they are just values they are not key value pairs but if we pass some key value pairs so let's say name equals Paul so this name equals Paul is a key value pair because name is the key and Paul is the value so whenever we pass key value pairs that will be stored in this quarks parameter so let's print arcs and let's also print quarks so let's run this 
and as you can see this 1 2 3 4 5 6 are stored in arcs and that's why it printed this uh, tuple with these six items and in quarks it received the key value pair of name and Paul that's why it printed this dictionary with the key of name and value of Paul so this asterisk arcs is the tuple and this asterisk asterisk quarks is the dictionary so if we provide one more key value pair so let's say age equals 25 now since this is also a key value pair it should store in quarks so if now if we run this now as you can see in quarks it added one more key value pair age with the value 25 okay so now instead of passing this uh, values directly to the function let's create a variable and let's pass those variables in the function so let's create num equals and let's create a list of one two three and four let's say and let's create a dictionary so let's say person equals so name is paul and age is 25 and now inside this sum function let's pass num and let's pass person so here we want this num variable which is a list to be stored in this args parameter and this person variable which is a dictionary we want these uh, key value pairs to be stored in this quarks so in the sum we are printing args first and then quarks so first it should print this list of one two three four and in the second line it should print this dictionary with these key value pairs so let's run this and let's see what it will print okay so here in the first line it's printing this list and it's also printing this dictionary items both in the tuple and in the second line which is the quarks it is printing empty dictionary so here what happened is both of this num and person that we are passing in this sum function both of them have been stored in this arcs variable so that's why both num and person are printing as the tuple items so first tuple item is this num with this uh, list value and the second tuple item is this dictionary value and this quarks variable is not getting any input or is not getting any arguments because when we are passing this person we know that it's a dictionary but we are not passing it as a key value pair so for the function it just views both of this num and person as the positional arguments because it didn't find any key and value for this person but if we pass the key value pair itself so let's say day equals Sunday now here we are passing the key value pair with key day and the value Sun so now this key value pair is only going to be stored in this quarks so now if we run this now as you can see this key value pair has been stored in quarks and that's why it's receiving in the quarks variable but we want this person which is a dictionary to be stored in quarks right so for that we have to add this asterisk asterisk in front of this uh, person variable just like in this asterisk asterisk quarks and also we have to add asterisk in this num variable so now the function can identify that this asterisk num has to be stored in this asterisk arcs and this asterisk asterisk person variable has to be stored in this asterisk asterisk quarks so now if we try to run this now we can see that the value of this num 1 2 3 4 are stored in arcs so it's printing 1 2 3 4 as the tuple items and the key value pairs of this person are stored in quarks and that's why it's printing this dictionary items in the second line so this arcs and quarks variable are really helpful because when we have to work on the big project there might be a situation where we have to create the function 
and we have no idea how many arguments that we have to define in that function. So in such cases, this asterisk args and asterisk asterisk quarks comes in really handy because using these uh, variables, we can pass any number of arguments in that function. And when we are passing the variable itself for that function, we have to add this asterisk and asterisk asterisk so that the function can identify which variable is the positional argument and which variable is the key value argument. So that's going to do it for this video. I'll see you soon with the next video. Till then, keep learning. Goodbye.